Alrighty, everybody. Good evening. James here, and I am back after a dreadful week of being sick. Uh, I apologize for no updates, but uh, I barely was able to trade, let alone uh, try to do a daily recap. Uh, as you can tell, I am still slightly congested here, and uh, I'm, I'm still trying to get over this cold or flu or whatever it is I have. Uh, I think I'm like on day 10 of being sick. So, but I'm doing pretty well. Was able to get some trading in and uh, thought I'd go ahead and get the recaps going again. So, today marks the end of day 39. Um, last week I did trade. Unfortunately, I shouldn't have traded. Um, the saying goes if you're not clear headed, you really shouldn't trade. Uh, being sick is one of those things that make your mind cloudy. Um, and days 34 through 38, uh, one trade each day. It looks like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Um, I had one winner out of those five days. So Monday and Tuesday was a loser. Wednesday was a winner. Thursday and Friday were losers. Um, so I'm not really going to recap on those too much. Um, I probably couldn't even tell you <laughs> what I was thinking on those days. So days 34 and 38 are done. Um, it took a couple of hits, but I did at least keep the losses to my plan, um, and kept them small. That being said, <clears throat> Friday, I went and took a Microsoft call, um, about midday. And as you can see here, I took a Microsoft call on Friday about 10, 15, which is uh, 11, 12, one o'clock, uh, roughly market time. And I took an at the money play, the 141's uh, November 1st, so it was about a five day play here. Um, and I was actually just playing it off more the two minute chart, two and five minute chart. Uh, as you can see here, <clears throat> I entered actually in the beginning stages of, or I should say the ending stages of a squeeze. And um, it was mainly more off the break of the finally getting back and closing above the moving averages. So I went ahead and just took that play. Um, and I held on to it. And it went negative and I actually closed at the day. Uh, I was think I was about 10 bucks, $15 max upside down. And I only held on to it because I still liked the daily chart. And while it did fire on Friday, I still felt that it could come back up and at least retest the highs. So I held on to this over the weekend. <clears throat> and as most of you all will know, uh, news came out fairly quick after market closed that uh, Microsoft won the DOD contract uh, for their cloud-based program, that $10 billion contract. And Microsoft just shot up after the close. Um, so when markets opened today, we were already up, you know, close to four dollars. And uh, I let the market play out a little bit, but I ended up closing it um, fairly quickly at uh, <clears throat> uh, thirty-five seconds into the market being open. I closed it out. You know, as as you can tell here. I mean, zoom in a little bit. One second. All right. So Microsoft took off at the open, and I closed it right on the bar. You know, you know, most typical gap ups they'll tend to fall, and I wasn't going to risk that. So I closed it. You know, seconds of the market being open, and I took a nice winner. That was a two hundred and thirty-three percent winner. That trade alone was a two hundred and sixty-six dollar winner. So that significantly helped out our small account challenge um, so and then you know it ran, it ran up a little bit more and I know some members got like 300 percent you know 275 percent so congratulations to them that is awesome finally and lastly uh, as you guys are aware I was in paychecks for quite a while and I actually think that was one I entered when I was sick it was so I entered that on uh, like a Tuesday um, I re-entered it. I couldn't tell you why I re-entered it. Um, but I ended up closing it today just for a loss. Uh, it was about a $60 loss. It looks like so just over my ideal stop loss. 
But uh, I like the daily chart on paychecks. Uh, but it just wasn't moving fast enough for me. And I wanted to get all cash so I can start fresh um, since we started this week off really strong. So we are now up to 638. Uh, uh, you know, if you're following along, you know, I was having a real hard time getting back and staying above 500. So this win on Microsoft is uh, a game changer here. And it's uh, it actually put me in a good mood for the rest of the day. And I actually closed out some other regular positions for some nice profits so we're up now you know just shy of 650 dollars this is going to help and you know this is anywhere from two to three trades or you know or you know three trades a day or two two trades two contracts you know we got some um possibilities here that we can make multiple trades and start getting this account bounce going again so i'm i'm feeling confident we're going to really get this moving so that's it guys a little quick recap what happened where i've been what's been going on and uh, uh assuming i stay at least this or better i'll be trading the rest of the week so thank you guys uh if you like my videos please hit that subscribe button i'd greatly appreciate it have a great night